Hello brothers, sisters in Christ. Does God still give his people dreams? You know guys, a lot of you know the answer to this question, but to those who may come from a particular church or a particular group of Christians where they don't believe that um, God still gives dreams. You know, we, we read in the book of Joel that God will pour out his spirit and, and basically he'll give dreams, you know, and, and all these sorts of things. And I just want to share that in the last four days, God gave me two dreams and both of them came to pass all on the same night. You know, guys, and sometimes God does this, you know, guys, this is if God wants to give you a dream to warn you or to get you to pray um, for something that's going to happen, you know, guys, he can do that if he chooses to, you know, guys, God is God. He created human beings. He created sleep. And of course we have dreams and sometimes the devil can give us a dream. Sometimes God can give us a dream and sometimes we can just have a pizza dream, you know, guys, but I just want to quickly share the first dream that I had was of my friend and he was in my family house. And for some reason there was two big black snakes in the house. And they were, you know, they were poisonous. These, these are the kind of, these are the ones that can kill you, you know, guys. Here in Australia, we have some of the most venomous snakes in the world. And long story short, and they were going in the house. And, my, and I don't know why my friend brought them in the house, but one of the snakes bit him. It just bit him. And boom, we knew we have to go to the hospital straight away. So he opened the front door. As soon as he opened the front door, these snakes, they shot out at the front door and they left their tails on the floor. And, um, and I woke up. That was the first dream, you know, guys. And I had a feeling like this is a dream about my friend. There's something that's bad that's going to happen to my friend, you know, guys. All right. The next night, you know, guys, this is one dream one night. And the next night I had a dream that I was with my little brother and I was in an, in an area that was a bit dodgy. There was a gang of, you know, Middle Eastern people there and they started hustling me. And, you know, I punched, I started punching one of them in the face until they were on the floor. And then somehow they, they took my little brother and I was talking to my friend and, you know, saying, oh, you know, send people to help us, blah, blah, blah. And long story short, you know, guys, long story short, um, my little brother came back in the dream and somehow the dream just finished there. You know, guys, very interesting. What what does this dream mean? You know, guys, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, guys, that the dream simply means that, you know, that somehow someone's going to get in trouble. You know, somehow something something bad is going to happen to me or my little brother that was the feeling that i had you know guys and you know guys sometimes god <laughs> speaks to you you know you know um maybe not every single week but once every six months he'll give you something so anyway that following night that i had that dream so i had the dream i woke up and then during the day i spent the day with my friend you know went to my mom's birthday came home when I got home you know guys when I got home I had a feeling in my stomach I better text my friend and see if he's all right you know there was no one told me to text him I texted him and my friend answered me and said no I'm not all right and and I said oh what, what's happened you know and he said I'm in the emergency room and, I, and then he said, did, did someone tell you to text me? Did, did, the, did the guy that I was with tell you to text me? I said, no, I just had a feeling that I should text you, you know, guys. And anyway, and I was just said, you know, do you want me to come to the hospital to be with you? And um, long story short, he said, no, and, um, you know, my mom's there, you know, and, and I won't give names because I don't do that. But my friend and 
basically he was having a drink with someone and he believed someone poisoned his drink or something like that so he was at the hospital you know having all sorts of issues and problems you know guys so i said i'm gonna pray for you so i started you know went into my garage started praying for my friend really praying for my friend really could feel the holy spirit you know guys and went for a walk and i'm just going for a walk you know guys maybe at about 12 30 one o'clock at night you know guys and i'm praying for my friend just praying for my friend you know guys and i and i, and I can feel and i can sense that god is moving god is helping my friend you know in the hospital who's going through this traumatic and and just crazy situation and while i'm walking around the block you know guys i come across i basically came across someone who who was standing on the side of the road and you know um yeah they look you know this is nearly one o'clock in the morning so you know you got to be careful you know especially around certain neighborhoods that can be a bit rough so i'm walking around and and i can see that the guy's staring at me so I just keep on walking, you know. I don't want to get into um, a confrontation with him or start a fight. I just try to, you know, mind my own business and keep on walking. And I could get a strong feeling that he was he was watching me as I'm walking. And I, you, you know, I could feel that, you know, he wanted to maybe he had a knife or a gun, and he wanted to, you know, roll me. Maybe he wanted to rob me. So, you know, I was just kept on walking. I walked past him, I was looking around on the ground for a, a bottle or maybe a piece of metal so I can protect myself if this guy comes and tries to rob me. Anyway, and then I see, you know, like um, like a really expensive, you know, gangster car pull up next to him and whatever. You know, there's something going on with those people, you know. And I realize, oh, you know, these people are probably gangsters or whatever. So anyway, I keep on walking up the road. I try to avoid the whole situation. Their car drives off, you know. Um, really, you know, expensive car just shoots off. And then that guy is still there and he's, he's, he's looking at me and he's following me. So anyway, I'm just walking up the road, you know. I know he's following me. You know, it's one o'clock at night. You know, um, I'm looking around for a bottle or, you know, a brick or something. So... If I get into a fight with him, I can defend myself. Anyway, um, he comes up to me and, you know, he puts his fist out like this to give, you know, to, to give me a fist pump. I thought he was going to punch me. You know, I, I, was, I was getting ready to fight him, you know, because what else can you do? Um, but anyway, he just, you know, fist pumped me and he, and he said, you know, like, hey, well, you know, what, what are you doing? Um... I saw you down at that street back there. And I just told him the truth. I said, you know, I'm a bit stressed at nighttime, so I normally go for a walk. You know, just go for a walk, good exercise, get some fresh air and, you know. Anyway, and he was just asking me questions. And, um, you know, somehow this guy thought that I was, I got the feeling he thought that I was watching what he was doing you know, whatever he was doing, maybe they were doing a drug deal or whatever, you know, and um, I basically just said to him, look, I don't care what you do, <laughs> that's your business, you know, I, I basically, I, I mind my own business, I, people can do whatever they want and I do whatever I want, I don't get involved in other people's business, but anyway, I think he was on, you know, maybe, maybe he was on coke or ice, but, um, you know, I really feel because... God gave me these dreams that something bad was going to happen to my friend. And it did happen. And God even put it on my heart to text him while he was in the, in, in, you know, in the hospital, you know, cause only God knew. And my friend was freaking out because he, he said, how did you know I was in hospital? And then with this guy, you know, because I was walking and I was praying, speaking in tongues for about, 45 minutes you know I know that when this guy approached me I know that God just turned it around you know this guy was going to rob me or try and fight me or something like that 
You know, and um, I know that God just turned it around. You know, God gave me two dreams, and on the same night, He fulfilled those two dreams. You know, guys, and the thing that I'm learning about when God gives you a dream to pray about the situation is that He does not always... Everything that happens in the dream doesn't always happen in your situation, but it's the... It's the idea of the dream, you know. Um, for instance, if God gave you a dream about a car crash that you're in, it might not be exactly the same car and exactly the same street, but it'll be a dream about a car crash. And you can pray and ask God, you know, you can pray and say, God, I just put the blood of Jesus over me, Psalm 91. You know, um, I thank you, Lord, that you're, you're making me avoid that car crash. You know, guys, so does God still give dreams? Yes, he does, you know, guys. When I was about 19 or 18, when I was first seeking God, he was giving me dreams. Not often, you know, guys. I just want to say, um, if you're, if God is giving you a dream every single night, I don't think that's, that's really how God does it. Normally, it's like more like a couple every, every three months. You know, guys, but God is God. I won't put him in a book, in a, in a box, you know, guys, or in a book, you know, guys. There is a book written about God, but God is not a book, you know, and God can't be in a box, you know, guys. God is God. He's infinite, you know, guys. Hallelujah. So, you know, guys, I'm still amazed at how God spoke to me through these dreams and how accurate they were. You know, about my friend and about me nearly getting um, bashed by some, by some gangsters, you know, guys, or whatever. But I just encourage you, you know, I just encourage you, you know, guys, sometimes God may give us a dream and we don't, um, we don't believe him. You know, guys, in the book of Job, it says God says, it says that God speaks once in a dream, you know, guys, um... And he speaks, speaks a second time in a dream, but man doesn't pay attention. You know, guys, I just want to encourage you, pay attention if God gives you a dream. And yes, God does give dreams according to the book of Joel, you know, guys, in the last days. And we are definitely in the last days. So God loves you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that this testimony has encouraged you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.